Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothlin. Whew, wow, what an amazing couple of weeks. After that big sell-off last Monday, all of a sudden we had seven consecutive days in a row of just upside gains for the broad market indexes, making for some healthy gains in your long-term portfolios. I'm sure all of you going, yeah, to your 401k and your IRAs. For you, those that are shorting the market, though, may not be that great. Now, will we see those same types of moves this week? That, you know, I cannot tell you, but I can tell you we have some economic announcements happening and some earnings announcements. So we'll start things there with our earnings calendar. A light week, but a couple of days of activity. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we have the good stuff. On Monday, though, rather quiet. You got Palo Alto Networks and Estee Lauder. On Tuesday, you've got Lowe's, Medtronic, and Toll Brothers. On Wednesday... Now we get our retail sales numbers. Remember, last week we saw the retail sales numbers come out and they were really good, showing a nice 1% increase in retail sales. You had Walmart with good earnings. Will that continue? Well, let's see what some of these companies reporting earnings have to say about that. Wednesday brings you TJ Maxx, Target, Snow, Agilent, Zoom, Macy's, and Urban Outfitters. So a quadruple of retail sales companies there. And then even more on Thursday, you've got Intuit, NetEase, Workday, Ross Stores, Dollar Tree, Burlington Coat Factory, and Baidu. And that, my friends, is it for your earnings calendar. Quite quiet on Friday, so don't worry about that one. So retail sales were really good last week. The numbers were fantastic. Will that continue and give you some opportunity? Keep your eye on those companies as they report earnings and maybe find some opportunities there. Now let's move on to the next piece, which of course happens once a year, and that is the Jackson Hole Symposium. Ooh, it sounds so ominous. And this is part of the reason the real estate in Jackson Hole is so darn expensive. It's become the haven for rich, fat cats and financial people. Anyway, this week we have on the 22nd through the 24th, many central bankers from around the world will be speaking at this event, including the man, the myth, the legend, Jerome Powell. Of course, anytime Jerome Powell speaks, markets listen. It could have wild fluctuations. So keep your eye on the calendar. If you really want, you can go to the Jackson Hole Symposium website, log in there and see when exactly Jerome Powell will be speaking, what the panel discussions are. Because as you know, when he talks, any little word that's different from the normal talk track can cause wild fluctuations. And that equals opportunity for you and me. All right, and finally, we look at services and manufacturing numbers. Now, last week, we had the Empire State Manufacturing Index as well as the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index. Those numbers didn't look so good. It really was kind of like, ooh, negative piece of data coming out last week, two pieces. Is it gonna happen again? Well, let's look at our calendar here. We have quite a few announcements this week with regards to services and manufacturing. Starting on Thursday, you see at 3.15 a.m., you have France reporting their services and manufacturing numbers. Right after that, you have Germany at 3.30, right after that, the whole EU at 4 a.m., then you have England at 4.30 a.m., and round that out with the United States at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, again, this isn't the most pivotal part for our economy, but it is a good indication of how these countries are doing with regards to services and manufacturing. Now, of course, if you really want to dive into the weeds on this, it would be prudent of you to go and look and see, you know, which country is more based off of manufacturing or based off of services. You know, United States, we're more of a service country, therefore the services numbers for us are probably gonna have a little more weight, albeit the manufacturing does create jobs either way at 9.45 Eastern time, which will be just into the trading day. We will see some movement there based off those announcements on Thursday. And of course that coincides with Jerome Powell at the Jackson Hole Symposium. So we've got some okay earnings. You have Jackson Hole Symposium and the services and manufacturing numbers coming out for most of the world. That, my friends, is your Monday morning must-knows. We'll see you next week.